Hi guys and dolls and welcome back to Vintage or Tacky. Today's video is going to be a Halloween lookbook featuring a bunch of amazing pieces from Unique Vintage. They hooked me up with some awesome pieces including some really cool accessories like this amazing Betty Page mug which I'm kind of obsessed with at the moment. I've got some tea, it's overcast, it's like the perfect environment for doing this Halloween haul for you guys today. I do want to let you guys know about today's sponsor. It is Audible. Audible has a huge library of audiobooks and my current one that I'm listening to right now which I think kind of relates to this video is Angelica Hughes. Houston's autobiography. I believe I'm listening to her second autobiography. I think she's done at least two. Uh, it's really fun for me and it kind of adds another layer to it to actually listen to her autobiography read in her own words. It's as though I'm just sitting down with her having a cup of coffee and she's telling me about her life and it's pretty thrilling to listen to her life as a model, um, a little bit about her childhood and her relationship with Jack Nicholson. It's been really fun for me and I thought that it was kind of an appropriate one to talk about with you guys because she's the queen of how Halloween is Morticia from Adam's Family. I'm just so in love with her still. And I recently watched Witches and she's fantastic in that as well. Really love that movie. Super campy, super kooky. If you haven't seen that movie, I also recommend that as well. If you want to start your 30-day trial and get your first audiobook for free, click the link in the description down below or go to audible.com forward slash vintage or text vintage to 500, 500 and you'll be signed up for your first month and get your first audiobook for free. It is amazing. It's something I have stuck with. It really actually helps me consume more books. And I really appreciate them for sponsoring this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the fashion. I think we should start with the outfit that I'm wearing today. This top is from Hell Bunny, and it is so insanely cute, I die. So uh, it has this gorgeous little graveyard scene on the collar. I love the white co collar that contrasts with the black. It's always a classic look. It has pearl buttons, which is just absolutely adorable. They're really lightweight. The fabric of this overall is very, very lightweight. It's quite nice actually for this time of year where it's like, I can't really decide if it's going to be cool or warm. The top hits me um, just past my belly button. It's a bit of a shorter top. So it's actually perfect for tucking in because then you don't have a bunch of extra fabric on the bottom. So what I did was tuck them into a pair of pants from the Unique Vintage brand. So I am, oh my God, these are covered in dog hair. It's so embarrassing. Life with a puppy and I I didn't lint roll these before I came on camera. Sorry, the top that I have from Hell Bunny, I don't think I mentioned, is a UK 22, um, also known as a 4X. So the everything that Unique Vintage sells, like from Hell Bunny to their own line, kind of runs a little bit on the small size. However, with these pants, which are the Unique Vintage brand, I think the sizing is a little bit more generous. These are a 4X and they are a bit loose on me. Um, they're actually super duper comfy and they're kind of like the coolest pair of trousers ever. They're really made out of a wonderful stretchy material almost like a bengalin but i'm not sure if it's actually bengalin so I'll, I'll keep my you know we're just gonna kind of leave that one loose um they're they're rayon nylon and spandex so rayon is a super durable strong fabric um, and then nylon and spandex are both synthetics but they give it that beautiful stretch with a pair of pants like this i really love the bottom it has like a little break in this side which i think looks really fantastic and they're kind of like an ankle pant for me they're not all the way to the floor which is perfect because i can show off my cute vintage shoes that i'm wearing with this i absolutely adore this outfit the only thing about these pants that I would change. I mean, literally the only thing. I wouldn't even add pockets because I like how it creates a nice smooth silhouette without the pockets. On the inside, this piece right here, uh, it just kind of moves a little bit. So when you're wearing it, it sort of starts to travel up. So it would be nicer if it was sort of sewn in a little bit better overall, which I'm gonna go ahead and do myself so that it'll keep it um, keep them kind of together a little bit. It's just a minor fix. They do zip up the back. They're incredibly smooth in the front. I adore these pants. I actually wanna get them in like a million more co colors because I just think these would be such an amazing staple for me all fall. So the accessories that I have that paired with are starting out with these amazing amazing sunglasses. I know. Okay. So I love heart shaped sunglasses, but the fact that these have like the outer bit, so they are a little more extreme. <sighs> so good, dude. Link in the description bar down below. You can, you can get yourself a pair of these and be styling along with me. They are so, so, so good. I love that they fit like a whiter face a little bit better, but I honestly think that because they have the clear bits, this could work for a slimmer face as well. They're so cute. The other thing that I have that paired with, which I really think helps make the outfit, is this amazing bat belt. It is so cute, you guys. It's really comfortable. This is in the size 2, 3X and it stretches really well. I actually think that someone with a slightly wider waist than me could still wear this. I have about a 43, 44 inch waist, just kind of depending on the day. 
whether I've, you know, had pasta or something like that, it'll, you know, everyone's weight fluctuates a little bit. So this belt is phenomenal. It's really cute and just adds that little pizzazz. And I think it really helps just finalize the outfit and make it kind of perfect. So this next outfit is super cute. This is a top from Hell Bunny. It's a black and white stripe and it has a really wide V-neck, which makes it a little sexy, a little sultry. Definitely helps me make my waist look smaller because it kind of broadens the top part of my body because I have a pear shape. So this kind of is a little more extra flattering for me. Uh, I love everything about this. I actually wish I could get this exact t-shirt in like more colors. Um, so Hell Bunny, if you're listening, please make this in more color. And if you already do and I just missed out on it, I'm sorry. Uh, super cute top. This one's also a little bit on the shorter side. So yet again, it's great for tucking in because it's not going to be too long. And I think that this would also pair really great with those capri pants. Um, or they're not quite capris. So we can call them ankle pants. I think maybe they might call them cigarette pants on the website. I can't remember. Yeah, I have that paired with just about the cutest skirt on the whole planet. This is a circle skirt also from Hell Bunny. This is, these are also both in four X's. And on the pockets on this one, they're a little web design. They're fully functional pockets. Little web design. What the gosh darn little spider on it. Look at how cute that is. It also has um, some piping on the bottom, which is very rep reminiscent of poodle skirt. So it's kind of like a goth girl's poodle skirt where instead of a poodle, there's a spider. I love this skirt. It's really comfortable. I did actually have a, another piece underneath it at first. I had, uh, what you call it, um, not a petticoat, but it's just sort of like a a booster for circle skirts to kind of make them fluff out. I then took it off and I think, I'm not really sure if I liked it better with or without. You guys let me know in the comment section down below which you prefer. I would be really interested because when you're wearing circle skirts, sometimes you just don't have enough volume and sometimes less volume looks good. It just kind of depends on the outfit. Now, the accessories that I have paired with that one are these amazing sunglasses. Oh, <laughs> these are super cute red sunglasses. I think I've worn these on Instagram a little bit. And then I also paired that with these amazing Ouija earrings. So these are planchettes. I was gonna wear them today because I'm obsessed with these earrings. Like seriously, I wanna wear them every day of my life. But I just felt like maybe they were like a little much with the collar. Like I felt like it was just like kind of competitive because these are rather large. I might even like take them up on the chain to make them a little, oh. No, I like the way they hang. I just have to be a little more judicious about the outfits that I wear them with. These are super cute. They are rubber. They're uh, pretty lightweight for their size. They're enormous, but they're really lightweight. I'm kind of sensitive about uh, my earrings. I don't like to put in heavy ones, so these ones actually work quite well for me. The centerpiece of this outfit is the Mummy Dearest t-shirt. Around this time of year, they always come out with really fun t-shirts. This is in a unisex size, so it's a little bit on the longer side. So I prefer to wear this one tucked into the jeans that I'm wearing with. I absolutely love the play on Mommy Dearest. Um, I'm a big Joan Crawford fan and I've been meaning to get around to re-watching Mommy Dearest because I haven't watched it since I think the 90s um, when I was into weird kooky stuff with my friend Tara uh, and so I need to re-watch it and wear this shirt at the same time. I don't know why I just feel like that would be a really fun activity. They have a couple of other really great t-shirts so I'll have a couple of those linked in the description bar down below for you guys as well so you have easy access to them. And then the final outfit is another really cute girly outfit which feels kind of 80s-ish to me. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is actually the gloves because I took it, them off fairly early on because it was really hot the day that I shot this. Like I was dying in this sweater and with the glove and everything but I wanted to show them to you because I know that the weather's getting cooler in various different places. So these gloves are from Unique Vintage. I am obsessed with them. They have beautiful lace detail. Um, the front is all like a really soft mesh lace. It has a cute like scallop lace here on the edge, the little bow. And then when you turn it over, it's got like little rubber grips. So these are actually driving gloves or you can use them that way. You can also use them for your tech tools because it has the little tech button. I have short, fat fingers, and so finding gloves is really hard, and the fact that these fit me really well uh, is amazing. And they actually could fit longer fingers, but they comfortably actually go further down, so they are comfortable and flattering for me to wear. I only have one on because it's hot. I can't handle both sides wearing gloves, but they're very cute. Second, I gotta get a sip of tea from my Betty Page. Mm. 
lubricate the throat so I can finish the video. So the final thing that I want to share with you guys today is an outfit uh, that starts out with a sweater from Hell Bunny. I love this little bat themed sweater. This sweater is very warm. It's 70% acrylic and 30% wool. So it's going to be nice and warm for those nice cold crisp November mornings and evenings. It's just a little too hot for it just now yet in the Bay Area because we kind of get our summer in September and October. It's like we have this weird thing where it's like hot and cold and hot and cold and hot and cold. Anyway, it's a little warm yet for this. I absolutely love the length of the sleeve though. It's nice and shorter. It's a very cute sweater. This is again one that's a little bit on the shorter side. Um, it comes, you know, just barely at the hip. I think this looks good both tucked in and untucked with the skirt that I'm wearing it with. I adore this sweater. I cannot wait for cooler weather so I can really wear it. It's just, it's just gorgeous and I love the bats. I love the bats. Oh, I just wanna hug it. And this I think could also be really cute with the uh, spider skirt that I was wearing earlier, but I just kind of wanted to mix it up. Now this is, I thought this was the unique vintage brand. It turns out it's actually a brand called Magnolia Park. And I'm gonna be a little critical here because I feel like um, this is the tightest fitting thing I've ever had from unique vintage and it almost doesn't fit. This one has a really extremely stiff band here. Like you can almost, like hear how thick, like stiff it is. It has very stiff um, something in it. So if you have a waist that's bigger than mine, I'd say if your waist is uh, a 44 or bigger, then I wouldn't recommend getting this skirt in the 4X. I think it's gonna be too small. Um, so it's kind of a bummer, but the color is beautiful and I'm trying to think of ways that I could have this taken out or modified in some way. It's mostly the waistband because with the circle skirt, everything's pretty free because it's gathered here. So this is completely free and completely comfortable. It's just the waistband that's too tight. So I might even take it somewhere and have them create like a new waistband for me with this fact that's a really good idea. I need to find a local tailor. So if you live in the Bay Area, especially in the East Bay and you know of a good tailor, let me know, like DM me or something because a girl needs a tailor. That'll about do it for this. I know they're not like very traditional Halloween type colors like orange and black, but I kind of like that about it. It's a little kookier. I love the combination of pinks and greens for Halloween as well. It's not, in fact, to me, Halloween colors are like lime green, deep purple, orange, and black. And so there's no orange in this, but you know, what are you gonna do? That's life. I am super curious to know what you guys think was my favorite and also what your favorite, either your favorite outfit or your favorite piece. I certainly have a favorite, but I'm not gonna tell. I'm gonna let you guys kind of try to figure out which one is my favorite and that's it. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Remember that I might be vintage or tacky, just be your own kind of beautiful. See you, bye.